What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're back with another bootleg uh bike park video. A lot of you guys really enjoyed my previous or uh, I guess you found useful my previous tutorial video. So I I've just seen that there's a revamp actually. I'm not sure when this came about, but it uh really caught my attention there and um definitely something that today we're going to be taking a look at, seeing what's new, what's changed. As kind of like a, a previously playing player of um, Bootleg, I can kind of see what the differences are, what I like better. So first, I'm just going to, there's a few new rider kits, which look kind of cool. So we got Monster Energy there, Thor, and then these are all the previous, actually these, this, these are new. And it looks like Honda, that one's new as well, new as well. Still need to add a shirt to that one. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the rest of them are the same. So, I guess we'll just throw on Thor for uh, for now. And we can actually look at helmets as well. There is a new silver and gold helmet, okay. Uh, I think we're going to stick with black today. Um, definitely going to crank down those graphics. Actually, we'll keep them at uh, 3 there so that we can get the shadow. Might be a bit laggy. But there we go, and there was, um, I believe there was a new bike. It was the, uh, the KX250. Um, we'll see if we can find that. Well, for now, we'll just go into a bike that I'm, uh, more familiar with. So that way I'm, uh. Able to ride decently. Uh, we'll go on the 250. So we'll get our bike here. Shipped up. Hop into first person. And here we go. Let's just follow this road. See where we can go for now. Really do like the road textures here. I like this sound as well. It's not as uh, aggressive. Here, I'll turn my sound up for you guys. Uh, there we go kind of get a sense for the sound now all right so uh looks like this road probably goes on for quite a while so, well, I guess we'll see how far it goes on for. If it goes on for too long, I might have to uh, reset here. That looks cool. We'll come back to that. Eventually, I'm still figuring my way out. This is much bigger than the previous map. I can already tell that. Very cool bridge. That looked like a drop. That was pretty cool. Um, Looks like the road probably just does a loop of the map. From what I'm seeing here, gonna come up and around. Yeah, so here we go. We're going this way. I see some bikes laying on the ground. Must be from people either leaving or resetting because they're lost on the road, like I am. Um. And so I think that this probably goes in a big loop. It will eventually end up... Okay, dugout. That sounds cool. Let's go to dugout. I think we got a sand track here. Nice textures. Okay, motocross. All right. Let's... Uh, oh, this is... I think this is already a track. I think it was previously already... Yeah, this was, this was a previous track. We'll give it a ride real quick. Okay. It felt a little different. This bike feeling a uh, little different than before. I'm not sure exactly why. Hmm. All right, we got to get ourselves back in the game. Oh, that. They need to fix that. There was a big hole in the side of that. So I'll come up here. It looks like, yeah, they've definitely fixed that a little bit. What is this? This is a very steep jump. Okay, yeah, definitely like the scenery better here. Definitely can see the improvement there. 
Okay, definitely like those berms as well. I do prefer the the single or two slots to enter in for the berms rather than Okay, that is that is weird. I don't know what that is for, but I'm sure it's uh has a purpose. Those slits there on the side of that. I do like the feel right now though. I do really like the feel of these uh this trail. Suspension might be a little different. Uh though I can't really tell. All right. Nope, that was not very good. We're going to come back up here. Yeah, uh, this turn looks the same. Uh, we'll, we'll exit out here now. So is this... I wonder if this is... Yeah, so it looks like they just picked up the tracks and moved them. So we'll come back up here, back to the road. I'm, I'm assuming that now, since we've seen that, we're just going to run into signs that give us trails. So we'll just go on those. Over here. And if you guys have any questions on controls or anything like that, feel free to... Okay, it looks like we just passed by spawn again. That is a track and a half. Okay, I do know that track. We do know this track. This is triple cross, motocross. All right, let's, let's give it a ride. Sand. They chose sand for this track. Interesting. Nice scenery there. Okay. You know, bike feels a little different. I'm going to have to get used to this. Um, that's why this is a first impressions video, not a, not a writing video. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we go. We'll take the left line today. Oh, wow. That chopped me up. Alright, we'll come over here. We'll take that outside. Not short. We're short there. Um... We're just gonna end it. We're just gonna connect back up right here. Not not a very good run, but I'm definitely gonna have to get a feel for these bikes again. Something feels different. I don't know if it's just like not being in the normal place or oh overshot that by a mile, but yeah, no. Um definitely gonna have to get familiar here. That where are we? Okay, we're gonna exit out of this track here. Come over here. I do really like the improvements of the game. I'm definitely going to have to play a little bit, get familiar with everything again. But, yes, really do. Okay, it looks like the the road did not go in a big circle. It went a different direction because I – actually, maybe not. Maybe I'm just seeing things different. I think we're heading back to dugout right now. Let's, let's uh, look down there. Yeah, because dugout's right there. Let me – um, turn up my graphics real quick. Looks really nice with full graphics, but developers, if you're watching, you're going to have to, uh, make your game more compatible. It's very, very laggy. I can run pretty much every other game on full graphics. Um, but not this one. I couldn't prior, but now it's just a little bit worse. So we're going to come back over here. Because it seems dugout is back there. We already went in the big loop, so I'm assuming dugout is the only trail back that way. What is here? Very nice scenery, though. Very nice. I like how they've done this. Okay, um... Where are we supposed to jump to a particular place? Is that supposed to be a gap to the other side right there? Hang on. You're telling me you're supposed to Alright, that that looks very cool. We're gonna we're gonna go try that. Ew. Oh yes, we're gonna definitely give that a try. That looks quite cool. I don't know how you're gonna get the speed for that quite, but uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give it a, a shot. Yeah, no, that is not happening. That 
I don't know what they're trying to do with that jump, but I don't know if that's possible. All right, let's see what people are saying. Yes, developers as well, if you're watching, um, you might want to remove mobile compatibility so they can't join the game. It's better to have uh, a game where mobile players cannot join rather than them joining and not being able to experience the, the game. It gives, uh, there's more odds of them giving you a worse rating. All right, right here, we must have missed this because that, this looks like the main area. Whip Summit. Whip Summit's up here. Cool, let's go look. Let's see how they've done Whip Summit. This might actually be the same map, but they've just moved some tracks around. All right, we'll come up here. That's a cool camera mode, but my head, uh, developers, if you're still listening, um, you might want to make it so there's a set first person mode or something like this, where if you change it to this lock position where you want to go in first person, uh, it removes the player's head. Cause as you can see here, it gets quite annoying. Um, yeah, just, it's just quite annoying when you're trying to right in first person and you just have the skeletal head getting in your way all right here you go so we're gonna start our run here i whip summit haven't rode whip summit in quite a while I do remember it being a quite good trail quite long as well very long actually Right, not doing so hot as of now. I'm just really trying to get a feel for this bike and the, the map in general. It looks very nice. Did not have done a flip there. All right. Um, that, I don't know if that step up was there before. I, I know it was there, but I'm not sure if they had the step up like that. Um, looking for changes. Doesn't look too changed to me. Definitely saw some on a uh, triple cross. Okay, no, 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 not good. Yeah, that going downhill in uh, in this first position, uh, first person mode is not the most enjoyable experience. Once I'm done recording, I'm definitely going to have to try out some more bikes, maybe give reviews specifically on them. Um, if you would like to see that, let me know in the comments. Um, so it looks like we're finishing up here. Oh, it was a little short on that. Quite short, actually. Or long, actually. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're just about done with Whip Summit. So we're going to exit off here. We'll come up here, do this jump, and then we'll exit off. We're going to go right here, up there, down, and here we go. We're going to get off once we get down back here to the trans. All right, we're going to get off right here. Now we're going to make our way back down. Let's see what else there is. Um, let's see. So we went down this way. We'll just cut through the trail here. We're going to come this way, up here. I'm going to collapse down this hill, but you know what? It will be just fine. I'm going to take this berm. Head off to the left here. All right. Um, let's head back up. Oh, lag spike. Yep, definitely some lag. 
Let's go over to Ski Jump. Pretty solid course, uh, as I remember from free revamp. Let's see if they've uh, changed anything. I did notice a few uh, not so great things about this trail, but prior to the revamp. So let's uh, get on it. Oh, I don't know if I hit him or not. Well, I'll, I'll see that later. Yeah, not not very good uh, by my, on my part. I can't tell if something's different with the bike, or I'm just not familiar, or I'm not good. Either three is an option, and people are standing in the middle of the tracks. You should make people go through. Um, or uh, not go through. Um, can collide off. Um, if possible, developers. Obviously, we want to just make it as local gameplay as possible. Unless you're planning on doing like races and people crashing and you actually crash into them. Then that would be another thing, but normally I think you'd want to keep players can collide off. So that way you can... Uh... Yeah, that jump I'm not too hot with right now. We'll do... Th this will be my last lap on this course we'll see what else we have after this can't be too much because it looks like they haven't made any new tracks as of now um here we go we'll hop off here and which way i like to, i do like the bleachers for the spectating i'm definitely missing something but i don't know what and where so Ski jump, whip summit. Okay, so we come this way. What's this way? There's got to be something this way if the trail continues. So keep going this way. We'll see what's over here. It splits off there. So it looks like they've definitely expanded the map. For sure. Definitely added some much more needed terrain. Do like the choice of trees. Pretty solid choice of trees. Um, works with the terrain quite well. Oh, that is not the right way. There we go. Um, it looks like this might be an off-roading course or something. I don't know where it's planning on taking us. Um, I have no idea where it's trying to take us, actually. Yeah, that was just a big loop. I think. So I'm assuming if that was a big loop, then the rest of them are all big loops. That maybe it wasn't. That's a, yeah, right back at the beginning. So it looks like that must be an off-roading course. So I'm definitely probably missing something. Um, this is obviously just my first impressions. Um, me figuring everything out on my own. I haven't looked at the uh, the community server for any for any like information on where stuff is or anything yet. So yeah, so this is. Pretty solid first impressions. Really like the scenery now. I like the the tractor for the trail building and the 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 car right there. Um, just just nice scenery all around. Definitely like some of the new. Uh, I'll turn our graphics down now. Definitely like some of the new outfits here, and uh, always good to have more um, rider kits and helmets. Uh. You never know what someone could want in their in their uh what whatever in their rider kit or what what they want to wear. Uh, silver and gold, uh, I guess, quite good colors for for MX. So yeah, really just a solid uh solid first impressions. Uh, good job on the on part of the developers. Um, definitely would recommend this game still even more than before um uh again can basic controls if you need to if you want to figure out some basic controls for this game uh you can always check my tutorial video out so thank you guys so much for watching uh these are my first impressions on bootleg park uh bike parks revamp and uh thanks for watching